so we're going to make a little charcuterie board and uh, there's really no right or wrong way to do it. Uh, it's really drawing up something on canvas and it's just uh, all about composition and uh, what you put it in and really there's again no right or wrong answer for it so let's kind of look at all the ingredients we got today so we got some grapes gooseberry blueberry raspberry dry apricot we got a dry cranberry we got some pickle olive nuts goat cheese uh, and also got a manchego got a uh, cheddar cheese, brie, and uh, some cured meats, and some assortment of uh, crackers and some greens uh, for decor. So, yeah, let's uh, get these things assembled without further ado. Okay, so let me see what I want to do. I typically want to put the fruit a little bit later once I kind of have a good composition of what I want. Uh, brie kind of being a big chunk. I tend to put it somewhere on the corner and I sometimes even cut it in half and then you know just alter it but since I still need to wait for the actual service time I'm going to just put it as a whole right now and as far as the cheese right here the cheddar a little manchego stagger there and let's put a goat Right there. Now with these uh, cheese lined up, now I'm going to fill the voids and see how I'm going to build out, fill out the rest of the items. So all these fruits were pre-rinsed and uh, just do double check, make sure there's nothing wacky. <laughs> but I'll put some right there and I'll put some right here. Here. All right, there we go. And then I gotta put some space for meat. So you could just layer them like this, and or you can fold it like this. Really, no right or wrong way. It is a little bit easier if you fold it into what I call the flower pattern, uh, like the little petals of the leaves, uh, petals of flowers actually. <laughs> All right, so now that I got little petals of a cured meat there, I do wanna put something there just to kind of give a solid back so this doesn't roll out. So I decided to use a little bit of olive. Fold it. As such. And I'll decor that a little later. All right. I see another opportunity for me to put one right there just to give a divider. As such, just again, give some vertical height to it, makes it a little bit more interesting. Uh, let's see, I got another meat there. I'll figure that part out soon. Let's see, let's fill it up with some. Dry apricot there. Another one there. It does fall, it's okay. Okay, 
so we kind of got the height there and then let's see let's use this one or Birkin to give another space and the honey goes really well with the goat cheese so I'll leave it somewhere nearby but for the time being I'll wait let's see there and then let's try to put some cranberries inside in there so we got brown reddish so wanna kind of contrast it with the blueberry Garnish and then put some gooseberries here. Why not? There. And let's try to do some raspberries and then some prosciutto. there and then we're going to put some extra crackers and there's some water crackers here garnish how we're gonna do this let me back a little bit of Good to go.